Let's just press hard up and down Connor. Press everywhere, Connor or anything. Let's go, guys. Our goal and philosophy is to try and keep things simple. Uh, all these guys have played water polo their whole lives, and being at Princeton, there's already enough stress every day with academics and social life that if we can keep our environment relaxed, carefree, uh, I think it just keeps the guys in a better playing mind. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely hard to stay focused every second of practice, and we do our absolute best. And there are times where we make mistakes and we can get upset, and that's a good thing, you know. Louis can put the hammer down and, and get us uh, refocused and uh, ready to go to continue to compete at a high level even in practice. Let's have that middle man look to stun and make the force a bad angle shot. Not some strong side. Here we go. I think we're really close inside and outside of the pool. You know, when we're in here, we're working hard. We're trying to get better as a team. We're working towards our goal, winning Easterns, getting at NCAAs. Um, unfortunately, that hasn't happened the past couple of years. But, you know, if we keep putting the work in and things fall into place, we could be in a really good position to do that. focus on our counterattack offense and defense. You saw Saturday in the big pool what our counterattack did. You guys are up all day. All right? Last thing, and, and most important thing, everybody listen up, okay. You do not shoot a bunny on our goalies. It's like a quarterback in practice with the yellow jersey. We only have two goalies. Okay. If you hit the going to head, you will swim the rest of the practice and not lie. Whoever hits the going to head. We can't go get five more goals. We have two. That's it. You do not bunny your own goals. And if you do in practice and you sit ahead, you will swim the rest of practice. Comprende? What Lou was emphasizing towards the end of practice was that, you know, as teammates, we're very competitive. We're going to work hard. We're going to be physical with each other, even in practice. But at the end of the day, we've got to be a little careful. I'm not sure when it started, but our team picture has always been up to the captains. And every year they try and pick somewhere different, somewhere a little more creative than the year before. I know it's getting a little harder to do. It's been about 11, 12 years now we've been doing this. But just trying to think outside the box, have some fun with it, and do something a little different.
Team pictures have always been tradition, not just because we want to look really good in front of the camera, but because we like to feature different parts of campus and uh, just wanted to uh, make a scene out there. It's kind of a thing we do. <laughs> make sure to get your subtle flex in. It has to be subtle. Outside the pool, hanging out in guys' rooms, playing video games, N64 is big. Uh, and yeah, just you know, spending time with each other. It's good, that's what we want to be doing, so that's what we end up doing with our time. Big A shot. All right. Three, one, eight. Thank you. Okay, so Todd is not very good at pool. Let's see if Bradley does anything better. Bradley's even more support. I got it on camera. Team meetings occur about an hour and a half before the game, and that's like the first opportunity for us to get focused on the game. 12 is their big Serbian hole defender. He's the one that gets a little trigger happy, he starts pulling the ball, shoot the ball a lot. He misses a lot of bad shots. They shoot the ball from anywhere. Just talk over kind of general things about the uh, opposing team, um, kind of which numbers to look out for. It's kind of broader strokes get ourselves kind of going into the game. We go more into details, kind of maybe 30 minutes before our game. With 16 the lefty and 12 with the four spot, and they're running picks for 14 or whatever on their side. Let them run their stupid things over there when they're set up in that formation. Good warm up. at home uh, against some of our opponents in the middle of the season. I would say this is kind of like the dog days of the season. You know, you're midway through, you're tired, um, you've been working hard in practice, and uh, it's important to get out there and just uh, hit the ground running and, and play strong. Um, and I think our team has shown that, you know, this year we've been able to really stay strong even in kind of the dog days of the season. Three hands up. Yeah. All right, eight. Uh, like we said, just execute, just play smart, play hard. Uh, know the numbers, I think it's five, 12, and 16. And uh, yeah. you ready? Let's three. Something we definitely need to improve on as a team is making sure we really play four good quarters of water polo. Um, we haven't done that quite yet this year, and that's going to be important later on. So especially in those games when we get up big, you can get complacent, um, but it's really important we just you know keep the foot on the pedal, keep going, grind it out, and just win as big as we can, if that's the case. Our game is 90% mental. When we go to the score, we're always trying to talk about what we can do better, how we can improve, and keeping our focus. As the guys get more and more tired, we're always just trying to bring it back in, think about what we're doing well, what we're not doing well, and talk about how we can get better. I think it's just a mental approach. Uh, for whatever reason, mentally, we weren't playing as well as we did the first game. I think Bucknell had something to do with that. Bucknell's been a rival for many years. They're, they're a good team, um, undoubtedly, uh, and they always give us a good fight. This is going like nowhere. Two hands. 
should be cold. Deal? Good luck, gentlemen. Two minutes. Put the pressure on them right from the get go. Honor, swim them right away. Three and 15 defense. Right? All right, let's go here. First thing. All right. All right. One, two, three, first thing! It's tough. Sometimes uh, it happens pretty frequently. We'll get in a situation where we'll, we'll be up maybe two, get a goal to go up three, and then right down the other end of the pool, they'll, they'll score a quick one, which just you know takes away the hard work we did. So it's really important to buckle down defensively. Everybody focus, bring a lot of intensity, and realize we got to get a couple stops here, withstand that, and then we can keep going with our own momentum. We just seem tired, we seem flat, and we're just trying to talk about the mental aspect of it. At the end of the day, water polo is a very simple game. You're doing the same thing every day, every game. It's how well do you execute that? How well do you play defense, pass, shoot? And um, we're just talking about keeping it in the moment, relaxing and going out and playing our game. You know, the key during halftime was kind of fo focusing on what we can do and kind of controlling our game and making them play our game rather than um, us having to adapt to theirs. And uh, that was that was kind of and it worked out in the second half. We really like to get in um, into our motion and offense that give us those close opportunities to convert by the cage. And that's something that when it's going, it's going great. But we can always improve on it still. And the more comfortable we get playing with each other the more that's going to be there. I think any success you have always starts on the defensive end. So if we're playing good team defense, that's going to lead into easier opportunities and fast breaks. That's not always the case. And sometimes, depending on what's going on in each game, it may or may not happen, but you try and create as many easy goals as you possibly can. Good defense, um, and also getting our our guys ready to go in terms of on offense. You know how we're going to melt the clock, how we're going to protect the ball. Um, maybe play four corners, which is when we spread everyone out and melt the clock. Um, yeah, at that point during game, we have a decently comfortable lead with not much time left. That's kind of the game plan. So we're focusing on staying healthy, working hard, but we know we, we got a chance to have a good year. It's just a matter of playing well come November. We're excited about our start, but we know there's still a lot of water to play. <laughs>